All right, so we're back with another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about null objects and like what they're for. So I've animated this circle. Okay. And you know, I'm even using like three layers just to do this thing. And I just realized that, oh wait, actually the circles aren't quite center there's no way i'm going to be able to move this circle it's already keyframed and if i were to say uh, just nudge this it's just gonna do this see for one keyframe that I, I try to fix it with there's like the rest of the keyframes to go so it's not really productive if you want to change it one by one right so to fix this you just go to layer new and then press null object yeah it looks like the square with an anchor point Try to get the anchor point in the center. So now, if you take a look, I'm going to open up the position keyframes as well as the nulls position keyframes. Then I'm going to select these layers and then I'm going to just link it to the null. Oh, in this case, yeah, you can actually just go ahead to your align panel, press align. Now everything's in the center. That's great. But it also works with the other controls available in an object. So I can even change its size. I can make it big or small. And it even works in 3D layers. Just turn on the 3D layer for the null object. Uh, don't forget to do that for your uh, other animations as well. So yeah, if I rotate the circle, see? Now it's animating in a 3D space, kinda. So yeah, a null is just a placeholder that you want to use when you can't really edit your actual object for good reason as well. And there you go. Um, that's how you use null objects. It's a matter of using parent whips and having a plan. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys soon.